Welcome back to Satisfactory. Apologies for the delay in this episode. Um, I've both uh, had some uh, symptoms of a cold and uh, also a bit, a bit stressed with the current situation going on. Everybody out there, please stay safe. Follow the advice of your authorities and government and take care of each other. Maybe at a distance, if necessary. Anyways, um, what I've been working on here is uh, the refineries. And I would like to say thank you to both Quadrotas and Wally for helping me with the math on, on this, because this was um, rather extensive, this new refinery setup I have here. Let's just begin at the beginning. Uh, we have uh, two water extractors over here. And I believe one of them are overclocked. Yes, this one is overclocked to 150%. While the rest of them should be at 100%. Um, I've attached the uh, pipes to each end of the pipe going behind those... Uh, I think it's nine refineries, which are packaging water. And I have a set amount of empty canisters in circulation here, but uh, it should be enough. Uh, but I might have to add more. As you can see, it's one out of two here. But when we get to the next layer, we will see if that holds true. Then we have seven refineries here. And they are making heavy oil residue and also some polymer resin. Um, they take 30 crude oil per minute, so... 120, 150, 180, 210. And then the... Uh, the one refinery up here that's making heavy oil would be 240, I think. So I'm using one of the, uh, the three pipelines that I have with oil currently. One of them is disconnected over there, I believe. Yes, it's disconnected there. So these are producing the, uh, the heavy oil. And I needed to have a pump here because it seems that if you have four stackable conveyors and then a stackable um, pipeline above that, uh, the distance is more than 10 meters. Sorry about that. Let me just uh, turn my phone on quiet mode. Now, these transport the uh, canisters of water and the heavy oil over here, follow the pipeline here, and then back down into these uh, refineries. As you can see, there are enough water canisters. I don't think I need more empty canisters in the uh, circulation. These refineries are set to make diluted packaged fuel. We can go to the end of the line here, because the first ones will get the uh, bottles first. But since there is a backlog, I expect them to be full, even at the end. Yes. So we have... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine of those. Then the uh, packaged fuel. We're done with the autosave. That's starting to take quite some time. Sent through conveyor on a Mark IV belt, down this way and then into these refineries, which then unpackage the fuel. So we get the fuel and the output of empty canisters. And we can run down to the end here as well. Uh, everything should be fine. And these unpackage the fuel and send it out into this pipeline. This pipeline is divided into three segments to make sure that there, ha that there is enough flow inside of each pipe. So we have one at the end here. 
Um, as for the number of refineries, we have three, six, nine, eight, ten of these. Yep. No, there's nine of them. We have nine of those unpackaging the fuel and turning it into the pipeline. Whereas we have ten of the next ones here. The empty canisters are then sent back on this um, Mark V belt, which is pro probably um, not necessary. But if all of these are in use, then that belt becomes necessary at that speed. Then we have these ten refineries here. They produce recycled rubber. I got out, went out into the vials and got that recipe. And now the belt here, you can see, that comes from the other refineries. Uh, we have, uh, I believe, eight refineries that are making plastic. So these are set up kind of uh, in, a, in a loop thing because as you can see recycled rubber requires plastic and it's the same for the recycled plastic that one requires rubber so how i've set this up is that all of these they output the, um, the rubber onto a mark 5 belt which is sufficient for all of them and then into the end here to the first refinery that makes the recycled plastic and then it follows the line down throughout all the refineries also with uh, the uh, the fuel coming in from down there and when it has passed all of the refineries it goes onto the belt here which then goes off and enters the container over there and it's the same with plastic the plastic is uh, taken out on the belt here and then it veers off uh, around the corner and goes down to the back side of the rubber refineries. And then the same procedure happens here. Okay. The, uh, the refineries get their, uh, their plastic and the, the spare plastic is sent off onto a Mark III belt, which is sufficient, and over to the container. So this is uh, probably the most intricate thing I've set up so far in the game, considering all the pipe work and uh, the mathematics behind this. My head has been a bit woozy because of the, uh, the uh, cold or whatever it is. It might actually be COVID-19, but I'm not very worried about that. I'm not in any way in a risk group, but I am quarantined as per Norwegian uh, guidelines. So I have to stay inside, but that's fine. Um, so this... Yeah, this this was just... It's taken me several days to complete it because it's such a massive undertaking. I still have only left in the um, network when I have two of the uh, pipes being unused. So I might actually have to just refine fuel so that I can uh, get enough power. Because when this thing is operational, it takes a lot of power. As you can see, the, uh, the factory is in rest mode. We have 3000 megawatts uh, capacity being produced. That is from three geysers and uh, two times 16 coal power plants. But when everything starts up, this is not going to be enough power, I think. I think I'm using way more power in the network than uh, my current uh, power production can handle. Could always go out and get more geyser power plants, I suppose, but uh, might just as well set up some fuel um, generators as well. Now, the one thing that I would say, um, while I've built everything here in one bunch of uh, refineries, I probably would recommend that you do this um, in separate areas of your factory, because this does not scale. If I need to uh, extend this to get more plastic or more rubber, 
I have a problem because I don't have enough space for more refineries in either of these two back rows and these two back rows are what supplies the uh, the two front rows which are making the actual products. So for instance if I needed more plastic I would need to add one more refinery of plastic and the entire chain backwards would be um, um, having uh, it would be in need of expansion. So I would say that either you need to do this over um, a multi-level factory. Uh, I've tried to avoid that to the best of my ability, with the exception of the uh, smelting, uh, the iron smelting column in the main base. But um, yeah, that big rock there is really what messes things up. If I want to uh, to expand it, because I could expand things further out if it weren't for these arches and the. Uh, and the rock I have there. Then again, without that rock, I wouldn't be able to get power up to the bauxite mine, so I might have been able to do it through that way, but yeah, you get the drift. So this is fairly complicated, but I've measured out um, in terms of what I need for uh, making the things that I uh, intend to uh, do of the uh, high-end game products, which is why I needed so much rubber, because rubber was the problem. And the basic recipe for rubber is not very fun to use because it doesn't really provide you with much rubber at all. Let's see, I don't think I have any... I, I actually have the things I need to make a big little refinery. So I, I discovered that I needed in my uh, refinery... Um, the correct spreadsheet here. I need 335 rubber. To make supercomputers, radio control units, and turbo motor turbo motors, and with a basic recipe recipe for rubber, which is this one, uh, you get twenty parts per minute. So, I would have to build uh, many of them, and each of them requires thirty crude oil per minute, and therein lies the problem. I mean, I could always set up enough refineries to make. I could set up. 20 of these refineries but then I would require uh, 20 times 30 crude oil per minute which I think would require two of the pipelines that I have of oil I think that's 600 so with uh, using two full pipelines of oil I wouldn't have anything left or I would have very little left for the rest of the things that I need like plastic and so forth so this is the uh, this is a very efficient uh, setup in terms of as you could see, I'm only using one pipeline of oil. But with two pipelines of oil available, I still have 600 and then some 660 crude oil, I think, available. And uh, yes, this does require more power, but it also requires a massive amount of more space. But it is definitely more efficient in terms of um, if I now need to set up uh, generators. So. But it does require using alternate recipes, so that's the, the downside of it. Um, you have to go hunt hard drives. But I think that it is definitely uh, worth it um, in terms of uh, both efficiency and uh, space. Is Well, space isn't really at a premium in this game, since you can always build in the height anyways. I haven't done much in the actual base. As a matter of fact, I've done nothing. But now I have the uh, the necessary... I actually need to do something before I go back there. If I have the components I need for that. I do believe I need the industrial beams. Yes, I do. Okay, let's go back because I need to upgrade the belt with rubber. I could always downgrade the belt with plastic because that only needs to be Mark III now. I don't need as much plastic as I thought. So, stop here and start upgrading these belts. I think this is a Mark I belt. And plastic, pushing out the other spreadsheet again. 
pushing out a net of I'm producing, uh, I have 180 plastic in excess, so Mark III belt should suffice on that one, which will then net me back some of the industrial encased beams so that I can just put that on two, so I can up and downgrade the belts as I go along. So that up, that down, that up, that down, that up, and that one down. Now let's just continue along the way and do this. Might need more uh, steel beams. So I think what I'm getting back now is uh, iron plates, since I believe that was a... Uh, Mark one belt. Also need to pay attention to that uh, evil space goat who uh, likes to frequent this area. He's uh, still very much active. Down, downgrade and then up, up. For some reason, he usually travels all the way over there. Up, 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 and down, down, down. Yeah, I need more steel beams before I can complete this stuff. But I should at least be able to finish up in this area. Now, they have added some lighting to the um, power poles, but I wish that it was more prominent because... It's really not that bright. So brighter lights would definitely help. As um, that is the one thing that I feel we uh, we lack in the game. Lamps of some kind. Because it does really get very dark at uh, night in this game. Not that Factorio is much better in uh, comparison when it comes to light. But at least we have lights there. Which helps. Let's grab a couple of stacks of these. We can drive down to the... Uh, I really don't need to drive to do this. I got it all the way there, so... Just to hit the belt, of course, and then upgrade and downgrade. Did not mean to do that. So that one needs to be Mark 4, and this one should be Mark 3. Same here. Lift should be Mark 3, and that one should be Mark 4. Let's take the hypertube up. Yeah, now you can see the darkness. It's getting pretty bad. The flashlight, while, the, while it's useful, it's also a bit too bright like that. It's, um, it's actually giving too much shine back. In my humble opinion. There we go. Let's drive back to um, the um, mall section and uh, see what we uh, need to get rid of and uh, what's next in the factory.
for some reason the hub has turned into a hideous purple pink color i don't think i want that color i have a color gun here somewhere Yeah, it won't change until I reload the game. But that's fine. At least it'll change, I believe. I hope. <laughs> Let's take the little hypertube I have underneath the space elevator to go uh, unload some of the uh, excess materials so we can get new stacks of stuff. Don't need that one, don't need these, we can get rid of that. Uh, motors and the rotors, the concrete, the outlet aluminium sheets. And I don't need this many... Uh... There we go, I think. Yep. Case industrial beams. I use. I need one more stack of those. Don't really need too many of those. I don't use Mark III belts that often. One stack of rotors, please. Have enough of those. Four stacks of iron rods. Three stacks of concrete. Need one of those and one of those. And two of those. One of those. Not that I'm planning on building any pipes currently, but I can always stash them in here if necessary. For the things that I intend to build, um, I don't know if I actually need Mark IV belts. Let's get some uh, Alclad aluminium sheets anyways. Six of those. Uh, I have motors in the back of the car. I have computers. I could use a stack of those. I believe those are used in the manufacturers. Yes. Ugh, I also need plastic. Let's grab a couple of stacks of that. Then let's see what I actually need. So the one thing that I definitely need to do is to get rid of the crystal computers and place those with Katerium computers. But before we do that, I also need to go into the uh, construction line of silicone circuit boards instead of... Uh, using the recipe that we are currently because that will produce 100 circuit boards and that does require copper sheets and copper sheets we are using 100 of those and we need 120 220. Okay, well. I do believe I have some alternate recipes for copper sheets. Uh, I need a stack of motors. Don't need that one. Um... Steamed copper sheet produces 22 per and a half per minute. So I basically need 10 of these. 
if I have 225 copper ingots spare? Pretty sure I do. Yes, I do. In the refinery outpost, we're using 90 copper ingots. We have 420 production. 330 in less. We need two uh, water extractors. This. Do worry about the power requirements here. Does the fuel generate? Need rubber. Fuel generator. This is 150 megawatts. But it doesn't say anything about how much fuel it needs. Fumes. Which makes sense because you can also power it with uh, turbo fuel. Yeah, I, uh, there is so much fuel. I think I need more concrete because I need to make foundations for uh, secondary uh, refinery uh, outpost thing imaging. What room do I have in here? We stash the uh, outlet aluminium sheets in there. I don't think I need them anytime soon. Not for what I intend now. So let's empty concrete. The rest we can take a couple stacks this silicone or this uh, circuit board manufactory is going to be replaced with a different recipe. I think I have enough quick wire for it. The only question is where I should build those fuel generators. And of course how many. We can test building a fuel generator. All of those coal generators there, those are going to be torn down because I don't need them. I don't have any excess petroleum coke anymore, so... If we stop here... That pipe there should provide fuel. I don't think I have room for fuel generator. I do have room here. Interestingly, the question though is that green line does that act into windows? Is that in line with the pipe? Yes, if I hook up this pipe here in vertical mode. There, it burns 15 per minute. Mm. We need that much. Just need to type this down, fuel generator. 
you 15 per minute. Question is, if I could use turbo fuel, that is even worth it. I don't know if it's even worth it to bother with the turbo fuel. Because what we can do now, turbo fuel takes fuel and compacted coal. And I don't have any coal here that I can compact. I mean, I could always get coal down from the mountain, but I would also require sulfur to make the compacted coal. But I don't think that is worth it, to be honest. Whereas if I use the, uh, the uh, diluted packaged fuel, which is a really, really good recipe, um, I mean, you get fuel from heavy oil residue instead, together with water. Not entirely sure how that works, to be honest. Um, strikes me as a bit strange that you can make actual fuel out of heavy oil and packaged water especially with the uh, the um, mixture uh, here two parts water one part heavy oil residue but I guess if the game logic says that it works then who am I to argue in comparison, if I were to just produce fuel, I could make... This requires 60 uh, cubic meters of heavy oil residue to make 40 instead of making 60. Uh, whereas the diluted require 30 per minute. So, and I even get more fuel from it. Or I could just make fuel outright from 60, it would give me 40. It would also give me the polymer resin that I don't really need for anything at all now. I could use it in the residual recipes, but the residual recipes are also quite crappy, to be honest, in comparison to the uh, recycled recipes. So, I've found that using the uh, this recipe, which gives me 40 heavy oil residue per minute, does give me the uh, polymer resin, but that you can just stash into um, an awesome sink anyways. So this is 40, and then if I then go to uh, the uh, diluted package fuel, that requires 30. And that basically means that if I want to have, I think I go with a number of 12 here. Uh, thinking, thinking. Let me just do the a quick calculation, and I will be right back. Okay, so what I came up with here is that if I have three of these uh, refineries making the heavy oil residue, of course it has to autosave, uh, then I get a total of 120 uh, heavy oil per minute, which means I can run four of these, which gives me a total of 240 diluted package fuel containers per minute, which I can then take uh, into an uh, unpackaged recipe, which would give me 60 per, which means four, 240 again fuel into the uh, pipeline which would be enough to saturate 16 generators, if I am correct. If I wanted 20 generators, I would need 3.75 refineries making heavy oil, and then 5 diluted packaged fuel, 5 unpackaged fuel, which would give me 300 fuel and then a total of 20 generators. I think that is what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to go with that. So 3.75 I think is correct because um, it creates 40 per minute. If I set it to 75, have they added that yet? 30 per minute and then I could uh, 
that's that's enough to supply one of these at 100 as it takes three. so that is what i'm going to do um but it's going to require a great deal of space of course the question is where on earth i'm going to place it or this probably isn't earth this probably is something completely different than earth stop up here there is a big nasty down there could always divert one of the uh, divert one of these pipelines that I have here oh, all these wasps really Okay, I don't think I have any cartridges. I don't think I have any cartridges in the workbench either. Well, the wasps can just fly around. Annoying. Wondering if that island it would be nice for it. But uh, if I'm going to use that island for it, sorry, I'm going to have to um, get some anti bad guy measures here. You no, know, like cartridges and stuff like that. We change the driving patterns in here. The uh, old way of getting out to the uh, oil place has been uh, kind of blocked off by a pipe so we'd always put it down here though that would get rid of these annoying wasp nests as well That's inconvenient. Good thing I carry around a healthy source of fuel. I could use this area here. Mercer sphere. Protected by one of these. I guess I could pick that up, get rid of this uh, base coat, shoot all of those wasps, and build a... Uh... Oh, I think I'm going to go with the island. Uh, going to be too much work setting it up here. In terms of pulling pipelines from over the uh over by the generator no the uh oil wells and so forth so i need to make sure that i have enough space in my inventory for that put one of these in there Grab two stacks of these then let's get back out I 
think I'll just leave the, uh, the big goat that's wandering around the old world. So I'll leave that alone unless I need to take it out. Really want to get rid of that wasp nest over here though. As in, I need to build something to get rid of it, but I don't know what. Should also clean up this mess here with these generators because then I can just drive down straight ahead instead of having those massive generators being in the way. I'm surprised that this uh, big goat has come back. Uh, I thought that I'd gotten rid of that permanent by actually using the oil but apparently not so Boop. try to get away but I'm letting you I thought there would be one more. Ah. Okay, so rid of those. Is this a pure node? Yes, this is a pure node, so that's helpful. If I use this one, I can just uh, remove that pipe. And if that is the pipe I'm already using, I can just change that in the base. And I can have the necessary stuff for working it into heavy fuel here. And there is plenty of water available as well, so that we can do... Uh, The fling of water. That's good. Oh, it's farty plants out there. That's something I need to do something about as well. I have no room in my inventory for nobelisks. But I do have uh, some chests with uh, equipment back in the... Uh, Finery outpost. That I had to leave there so I can just go there and I can drop off a few things. And I think there's a. If not a full stack of noblesks, there should be some of them there. Check these chests here. Here we are. If I drop that, yeah, it's actually full. Like a... You know what? I'm gonna drop the uh, the other one. Bring a stack of fifty. Driving in this terrain isn't easy. Uh, okay, the wheel went straight. Down. Interestingly enough. Bouncy terrain is no fun. Fun. What are you walking in my base? Go away. Can 
Can I drive over on this one? Hogs, always fun. That's a big No, it isn't. Saw another one wandering about somewhere here. There we go. Isn't our island filled with farty plants? Apparently so. Not for long. So appears to be an artifact thing down there. Not that we can use that for anything, but... Uh, anything else here? We will be able to get plenty of water from down here. Get rid of this tree. We can actually hit the tree. Go. I think I have room for the slug right now, but... Also enough space for your slug. Okay, I think we have complete total farty plant extinction. Which means that there should be ample space on this island to now build to build. What I have to do though is find the highest point, which probably is where this slug is. Yep, so it would seem. I don't think I have any room. I just have to build a personal storage box. We can stash two stacks of those in there. To pick up these as well. I actually should put some more stuff here. Let's do it like that so that I have room for everything that I'm going to pick up. able to pick up the pale berries as well if I can bacterium ore and we also need to deal with those wasps that are down on the beach there room for that yeah. a carapace over here as well. These we probably also need to get rid of because they usually uh, give us the encroaching error. I want to build something. So mid. Oh, that's a shame for you. There should be one more. Yep. 
Let's pick up the Som Somer Sloop. That's one thing that I wish they uh, had added when you picked up those kinds of artifacts and stuff like that. I wish that they had added the despawning of the nasties that originally were placed there to protect them. There's nothing left to protect. Okay, so I think I got everything. Now the question is, is this place higher than the other side? No. I think that over there is the highest point of the island. I also want to get rid of... I'm gonna have that smoke plume. That's fine. Put these into the chest. Need to chainsaw this. To get rid of that. So out, so we need to build foundations here and like to have them with the compass at all possible. I don't think that's going to be neat, to be honest, not to line them with us. How does that look? That looks better. I don't think it's aligned with the land bridge. That's not a land bridge, or the concrete bridge that I built. But I'm going to go on a concrete building spree here, and then I'm going to set up the uh, refineries in question and so forth. Either I will that in between episodes or I might have an episode dedicated to the building of the refinery oh yet but we will see what I uh, decide so for now thank you all so very much for joining me and I will see you all in the next episode